Alright, so I've been thinking. I don't recommend it, far too much effort. And to be fair, there are a lot of YouTubers who are wildly successful producing content that seemingly requires no effort or thought at all, but that's besides the point. So I've been thinking because I recently provided videos on my favourite weapon from each class and my least favourite weapon from each class. So I spent a lot of time looking at the guns on offer in Battlefield 5 and thinking about their pros and cons, how much they use and all that. And something struck me. There's a clear winner for the most unloved weapons in the game. It's shotguns, people. No, seriously, it is. Think about it. I'm not saying they're the worst or most hated, although they are kind of hated, actually, I guess, or anything like that, but the most unloved. For example, when you were at school, or still at school, you wouldn't say the teacher that occasionally hit kids is unloved. You'd say you kind of want him to fall down the stairs and maybe land in a fire. I'm not sure what kind of school has a fire at the bottom of the stairs, but regardless, you see my point. Whereas the teacher who perhaps isn't the best, maybe has a bit of a body odour problem and falls asleep a lot, but he tries really hard and seems to care about his job, you'd say he's probably the most unloved. Well, he's the shotgun of my analogy, and honestly this all sounded better when I just had it written down, but I imagine some of you can see what I'm getting at. So the Liberator is the useless option, the MMGs are the commonly hated option, and the shotguns are the most unloved. So I've talked about shotguns a little before, but today I'm coming at it from a bit of a different angle. So let's talk about specifically why they're unloved, what are their places in the game, community perception of them, and I'll give a brief little overview of each shotgun currently available in the game for those who aren't aware. In fact, now I'm here, I'm gonna just switch it up, I think it's better, and I'll quickly go over the three shotguns so we're all up to speed with them before we get to the proper meat of the issue. The real chub of it, the, uh, <laughs> dude, when I go off script it just gets really weird, but I guess uh, that adds character, so we'll, we'll leave it in. And I do want to say that the footage for each of these shotties, and indeed the whole video, video isn't cherry pick clips. I just jumped on for a bit and played. So what you're watching is as good or bad as a shotgun is when used in the manner that I used them, it depends on your opinion. So this is accurate or something I guess, whatever. We'll go for my favourite shotgun first, the M1897. This is your jack of all trades option, reasonable damage, range and rate of fire, and that's precisely why I like it. It's just competent to all things shotgun like, without having massive downsides. It's not the most spammable, it doesn't map people from miles away, but for just doing conventional shotgun things, this is my baby. It wasn't all that wonderful prior to the shotgun buff that came into play some time ago, it just didn't feel all that worth using, but now it's the most reliable option for me and allows me to perform at a more consistently high level. It's also pretty solid even before specialisations, whereas I don't think the other two options are. Oh, and I personally use it with buckshot, but you can use slugs on it if you so wish. Next up, we have the M30 Drilling. This is your double barrel shotgun option, your proper boomstick. It was commonly accepted as the best shotgun before the patch, and it's still the clear favourite for some. It's great for relative long range fights, especially as you also get an alternative fire shot which is a designated slug round, which is a special little bonus allowing for basically shotgun sniping, especially I imagine with the precision of a mouse on PC, although I'm on console, or you can just use it as an instant deleter. Fire your two rounds off super fast and melt the enemy in front of you. And then we come to the 12G automatic. This is your spam fire shotgun. The one that allows you to just keep slamming the trigger and fire buckshot downrange with little precision needed, although it can also be equipped with slug rounds if you so wish. The key point being though that you have a high rate of fire, which you can eventually either boost higher or add two extra shots per reload, meaning you can utilise either a rate of fire of 163 rounds per minute or 7 rounds per reload. Solid options either way and pretty dangerous in the right hands. And so with those three options covered, it sounds like they have a lot of benefits, a pretty attractive pack Package, if I can say that now I've thought about what I said. So why do we find ourselves here today talking about them being the most unloved weapons in the game? Why are they about as popular as PG-13 content on Modest Pelican's channel? Or me with the guys who choose EA Game Changers? Well it comes down to a multitude of factors. Map design is a really big one. We all know just how large and generally open the maps are in Battlefield 5. There are so many fields, open expanses and roads as wide as your mum's legs. It's just difficult to get around the map with a near solely focused close range weapon. That is, get around the map without a face full of lead. Even something like Team Deathmatch, the mode that's traditionally seen as a game's close up action packed gunfight focused mode, is so open that it can be a real struggle to use a shotgun at times. Although apparently the TDM maps have been altered, and we'll get to experience those soon in this week's patch, as long as DICE manage to get it nailed down in time. But yeah, basically people don't fancy running towards the enemy and trying to duck their bullets, just to maybe have a chance at killing them when they get within a few meters. This is intensified 
aside, when we think about two of the most complained about things in BF5, camping snipers and bipodded MMGs at the end of the map. What exactly is the shotgun going to do about those unless you can creep up behind them? And by the time you've got there, you could have just killed them with basically any other type of weapon anyway. So you might say, well duh, that's not what shotguns are for dude. Well yeah, but that's my point. There's so much of that. This game is dominated so much by range and passive play that shotguns become like the unwanted child, who gets thrown a few scraps here and there while his brothers and sisters, the assault rifles and the SMGs and such like, get full three course meals and the occasional bedtime story. Whereas little shotgun has to sleep under the stairs, like Harry Potter or something. I don't know, I was never into that. I just thought Big Boy Hagrid looked hilarious. But back to the point, yeah, they're not a good fit for the way Battlefield 5 is designed. Remember how much people used to complain about SMGs in this game before they got a buff? You can basically apply that here, because they weren't that great, could only be used at close range, and often weren't even coming out on top there. They were a low tier choice. I'm sure you can see how that statement can also be at least somewhat applied to shotguns. And that's doubly so with the netcode issues this game has. Avid shotgun users will tell you that there are many occasions where your surefire kill blast with a shotty just doesn't kill the enemy for some unknown reason, and you have much less chance of a follow up shot due to using a shotgun, whereas say an automatic weapon can just keep spraying until the enemy dies. Or there's the near constant issue of firing a shot and hearing the blast, but you die and the game seems to think you didn't even fire, leaving the enemy completely unhurt. Not cool game, not cool. So add these to the range issues and you can see why shotguns aren't receiving too many Valentine's Day cards. So why are they then criticised so much? Why are they vilified whenever a shotgun user picks up a kill? Well I've thought about that. There's what I've said before about it being easy to use a shotgun for very low ability plays, and this gets them a bad name. It gets them labelled as scrub guns because they're noob friendly in terms of making it easier for those players to get the kind of kills they'd already have a chance of achieving, whilst just making it so they absolutely can't get the kills they probably wouldn't have got anyway. It's a low skill floor, high skill ceiling situation, but as so few players are pushing for the high ceiling with this weapon, it's basically seen as a pure low skill floor weapon instead. And that sucks as using a shotgun and trying to actually be effective, play the objective and be team focused is literally like playing on hard mode whilst almost nobody else is. It's really difficult and takes genuine ability, like a real sense of positioning and stuff. But I have another new point here to add today. I did say this isn't just like what I've talked about before with shotguns. So what I'm saying is I'm guilty here in a way as well, because when someone kills me with a shotgun on a wide open map, I often assume they've made a ridiculous choice in picking it and that they got lucky finding me there and that they're going to suffer in 99% of other situations. And that can just be wrong. So I don't do that anymore because how can I preach everything I've said and then assume that others aren't capable of it? That's not cool. And I bet that can be applied to the vast majority of you out there as well. You see, shotguns are unloved in so many ways, and yet using them really well takes a lot of ability. It's to be respected. Plus, they do actually have some areas on maps that they can do serious work in, and can help you put together some really cool streaks. When you get the hang of using them, it can be a real thrill. So show the shotgun a little bit of love, even just for me. Or at least show a really good shotgun user some love. They deserve it. But please keep that love reasonable and always get consent. I'm not going to be blamed for any funny business. Anyway, Anyway, that's why shotguns are the most unloved weapons in Battlefield 5. I think the logic makes sense and is pretty tough to argue with. They're absolutely underused to a massive degree when you consider how often you see the other weapon types. And although they aren't the worst as such, I'm looking at you again Liberator, they just don't generally offer enough for most players. Yet they do have some genuine strengths and can be very effective in the right hands. Although that pair of hands usually needs to be very very good. So it's not exactly a common occurrence. Regardless, let me know what you think of shotguns, or what you think the most unloved weapons in Battlefield 5 are and why. I really hope you enjoyed the video, I've got a lot more BF5 stuff on the way, including more analysis vids, more live gameplays and stuff like that, plus a ridiculously frustrating Destiny 2 video, and maybe a return to the Fallout 76 Battle Royale, which gained me my most disliked video of all time recently. Anyway, if you did enjoy this, then turning on those notifications takes literally no effort at all, and it's important as YouTube doesn't really keep people up to date with subscriptions anymore, but besides that, I'd obviously also really appreciate it if you'd like the video, subscribe to the channel and join my discord server in the description and my pinned comment. Here's the board of awesome for the epic people who support the channel on Patreon. They're all absolute heroes and I love them all deeply and of course often. If you want to join them on the board of awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and my pinned comment. And with that all said, I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time, laters.